वेलकम बैक गाइस आई होप ऑल ऑफ विल बी फाइन सो दिस इज प्रॉब्लम 2.12 पॉइंट ट्वेल्व ऑफ चैप्टर टू एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज एक्सरसाइज एंड डाइट आर बींग स्टडीड एज पॉसिबल सब्सिट्यूट फॉर मेडिकेशन टू लोअर ब्लड प्रेशर थ्री ग्रुप्स ऑफ सब्जेक्ट विल बी यूज टू स्टडी द इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ग्रुप वन इज सेडेंट्री वाइल ग्रुप टू वॉक्स ग्रुप थ्री स्विम्स फॉर वन आर अ डे हाफ ऑफ ईच ऑफ द थ्री एक्सरसाइज ग्रुप्स विल बी ऑन सॉल्ट फ्री डाइट an additional group of subjects will not exercise or restrict their salt but will take standard medication use z for sedentary okay here z is for sedentary w for walker s for swimmer y for salt and n for no salt m for medication and f for medication free okay these are some symbols which we have to use here so what are the different parts of this question in part a we have to show all of the elements of this sample space okay so let me first solve it this is the solution and in part a we have to write the sample space so in sample space we have to make all the combinations which are mentioned here so in first we have to take the sedentary okay so it will be a uh, z and uh, the sedentary will never walk nor swim and it will either take salt or no salt so it can be z y with yes for salt and at can be z n as well for no salt okay similarly here they can also take medication as well or no medication so if they are taking salt so these are also on medication and they if they are not taking free of any medication okay similarly if z is here and it is taking salt it can also be not on medication as well okay so these are basically the three items for the sedentary one so the second group here is for the walkers so walkers will also be what they will either take the salt or not okay so if they are taking salt so it is y and if they are not taking any salt it will be what it will be n okay in both of these cases they will be free from any medication so it will be wnf and W Y F. Similarly, the third group is for the swimmers. So swimmer will also take the salt, okay, or no salt. But in both of these cases, they will be free of any medication. Okay. So this is what this is the sample space for the question, and I have basically explained it to you guys. In part B of my question, given that A is the set of non-medicated subjects, okay. and b is the set of walker list the elements of a union b okay so let me first write the elements of a which are what which are the non medicated subjects and what are those the non medicated subjects are this 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 and this okay so these are what these are these seven so let me write them so let me choose this color so z and f Z Y F W Y F W N F S Y F and S N F means all the items which has F in their medication, which are which means these are basically free of any medication. Similarly for B. what do we have to do set of walkers okay so the set of walkers are what these are here these two okay so these would be w y f and w n f okay so let me take a union b so a union b what it will be let me take them so it will be z and f the first one here z y f okay then this and this these two are basically present here so what do i have to do i have to write them only once in the union so it will be w y f okay similarly w and f w and f this is also available so w n 
F, okay, only once, S, Y, F, here, and S, N, F. This is for what? This is for the A union B. So this is what? This, you can see that this is also A union B is also equal to A because here all the elements of A are in A union B. Similarly, in last part list, the elements of A intersection B. So we have to see all the elements which are common in between them. And we can very clearly see that these are the items which are common in between these two sets. So therefore, the A intersection B is what? That is B and that is what? This is W, Y, F and W and F. Okay, so this is what? This is the solution of the question in which I have solved part A, B and C of my question. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.